Leo, hey, it is your girl. I am back with your weekly reading, honey. What the hell is going on? Okay, Leo, so listen here. So you know I already got your spread laid out here, okay? And this reading may resonate with you and it may not, okay? And if it don't resonate with you, just check your other signs, okay? So, and you know I just consider my readings as just a heads up. This is something that is going on in your life right now or something that is about to happen in your life, Leo, okay? And you know I'm going to confirm everything with... The Illuminati Tarot. The Tarot Illuminati. However you want to say it. These cards is beautiful. I don't know if I showed them to you yet. Look at there. Yes, honey. Wonderful. Alright, Leo. So, your middle card is what life wants you to know right now. This card right here is what your overall energy is about. Okay? And you're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good. Alright, listen. What life wants you to know right now is stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Okay? That's what life wants you to know. Your overall energy is the star card, honey. And I feel like that you're just sitting back, like, healing, being calm, knowing who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, stepping into your power, honey. Noticing who you are. Like, you are the star of the show. Okay? So, like I said, you're looking good here, uh, Leo. And see, and I'm... I'm seeing here that you like got your stability together and everything you know what I'm saying like you're very stable because this is someone that is very stable right here okay so you very stable right now see somebody is like somebody see that and they looking back at you and this person could be childish hold on listen this is gonna keep on doing this cuz I got I got my arm on the table but somebody here could be like being childish somebody could want to send you a message you feel me they they looking back at you. They see that you're very stable, okay? They looking back at you. This person could be, like, younger, okay? Or childish, period. This person could be trying to step on your toes, or this person could be trying to send you a message, okay? And I don't feel that this person is around no more, okay? Or this is somebody that is leaving the situation. They could be trying to send you a message because you want to leave the situation, right? Because you probably feeling like that it wasn't nothing but passion, which could probably be just sex. The relationship was probably just based off of sex, okay? And they see that you are guarded here, okay? And like they want to make a move, but they feel like that the situation is over with. Like they probably stabbed you in the back or they just know that this situation is dead because honey, listen, I see here that you are like stepping into your power. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you could be just sitting back healing. That card is a card of healing. That card is uh, hope, inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Calm, you know, serenity, spirituality, positivity. Like you just, I, I feel like that you're just sitting back being very calm, you know? Like just, you know, just, just focusing on your stability type, okay? And we're going to see what's going on, okay? Because, but listen, like I said, I, I feel that you are blocked here, okay? Like you got your heart blocked. And I feel like that this person, is they want to come in and offer you something, right? They want to come in and offer you something, but they feel like the situation is dead. Because for the simple fact of they was being sneaky. This person was being sneaky. So they feeling like that the situation is like, like, man, it's dead. Like, should I even go in or should I not? You know what I'm saying? we're gonna see that's what i see for right now okay so we're gonna bring it all together with this um tarot illuminati let's see why the queen of pentacles is here and why is the queen of pentacles here for leo why is the queen of pentacles here for leo the queen of pentacles for leo And remember that this could be you or your person, okay? So it don't always have to be you that I'm speaking of. This could be you or your person. You just got to take it however it resonates in your life. Okay? This is what you got here. This is what you got. Which is the Death Card, the Imprint, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Prince of Pentacles, Okay? So like I said, I, I feel here that you are like being stable, right? Like that you you got your shit together. Like you, you're real stable right now, okay? And so you have put an end to something. 
Like this, you're stable because this is your, your new beginning. Like you ended something for a new beginning, right? In that new beginning, I feel like that you're working on yourself. That like you're working on your healing. You know what I'm saying? You're working on being more positive. You know, just like knowing who the hell you are. Okay? Because you have the inference card right here, right? And I feel like that you just being like more loving and nurturing and caring to yourself at this time. Okay? And then, like, I feel like that the universe has gave you this. This is abundance. They have gave you abundance, honey. This is like a house, a car, uh, money. You know what I'm saying? Something good. The universe has handed you something good. And and it could be because you put an ending to whatever it was that you were supposed to put an ending to, okay? And then you got this Prince of Pentacles right here. Like I said, somebody right here is looking at you. Somebody has their eye on you and they are looking at you and they want to come in and they want to make a move, but they are unsure. So this person could be wanting to send you a message or something, okay? This person could really want to send you a message of some sort, okay? Because they're looking back at you and they see that you're working on yourself and that you got yourself together. And this person is like looking back at you, like, you know, probably trying to like text you, probably trying to send you messages through social media, through, um, you know, Facebook, Instagram, uh, phone, anything, or this person could be being childish because they see that you have everything together, right? Because they see that you're getting yourself together, right? And something, somebody has left here. Somebody has left the situation. Or this could be uh, you leaving the situation, okay? But now this person wants to come back and, and offer a message. So for some of y'all, this person here wants to come back and send you a message because they're not around no more. This person has left. And, and uh, for some of y'all, this person here wants to send you a message about um you know it could be you leaving it, it could be about you leaving and it, it because it was like all you seen was passion here excuse me i'm up here tripping up on my damn words but we're gonna bring it together i'm just trying to tell y'all what i see okay <laughs> but yeah but it was like a lot of passion somebody even left here because it wasn't nothing but passion here this could have been just sex okay so now somebody is blocked like i, I feel like that this is you this is telling me that this is your energy, that you are blocked right here. And then this is telling me that this is this person's energy and they want to come in and offer you something. But they know that this is, they feel like that the situation is dead because for the simple fact, they could have been stabbing you in the back or playing games with you. Okay. Like I said, and I feel like that this person is young, all in the same token. Or this person is childish, either or. They're either young or they're childish. Let's keep going. Why is the page of uh, swords here? Why is the page of swords here for Leo? Why is the page of swords here for Leo? The page of swords for Leo. Yeah, see? Now, this is uh, like this person probably wanted to send you a message, right? And you probably feel like that you can't see a way forward with this person now. You know? Like that your hands is tied behind your back. Like you just, like you, you know, you was trapped into this relationship. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that, you know, you can't see a way forward. You probably like, no, I don't want to talk. You feel me? Because I was like trapped into that relationship. I was stressed out. You know what I'm saying? I can't see a way forward in that relationship. So, honey, I got to go. Or you got to go. Period. Because for the simple fact, it wasn't nothing about, but about passion here. And now you have learned to be passionate about yourself. And I feel like that you now are being more passionate about you. Okay? And I feel like that you got your guard up. That you're blocking yourself. And you're not letting this person in. They want to make a move. But they're not making a move because they're not sure. Because they feel like that you put an end to it. Let's see. Why is the three of wands here? For Leo. Why is the three of wands here for Leo? The three of wands. So I want to come out. The three of wands. This is what you got. You got the Princess of Cups. See, I mean, somebody have left the situation, and I feel like that you left the situation, and you because you was like, what? What was this? You know what I'm saying? You probably looking at it like, what was this? You know, like that somebody was trying to offer you anything. You feel me? Instead of love, it was just passion. And I feel like now that you're probably stepping into your power, Leo, and then you're looking at the situation like, what the hell was I thinking? Like, what was this? This was just passion. You know what I'm saying? And now you're feeling like, shit, let me start loving myself. I'm not going to get back into this because I can't even see a way forward in that fucking relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. That's what I see here. Let's keep going. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Wands here? 
Mars Ace of Wands here for Leo. Ace of Wands. Mars Ace of Wands here. It's gonna keep doing it. The Ace of Wands. Mars Ace of Wands here for Leo. Oh shit. Mars Ace of Wands here. See, I told you. The cards don't lie. See, you feel like this. Somebody was just offering you anything, right? And that's the reason why you know you're not accepting it. Like you're not accepting it. You like this is just passion. Like I want love. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't offer me love, then I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay? Because you have chose to love yourself and you know that you know what I'm saying, you deserve love. So you are like being stubborn and you're not like giving in to this person because like I said, this person probably just wants to have sex or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And you're not giving in to that person because this is what you want right here. You're like, if you can't offer me this, then I don't want it. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm trying to zoom in on the camera. Look how pretty that card is. Yes. But yeah, this is what you want right here. You know what I'm saying? And the universe will hand this to you. You know, you just got to do, you know, the right thing. But this is what I feel like that you're like, no, I'm not accepting that little bit of love, that little bit of shit. Okay? Because look, this is only the, this is the four of cups right here. Okay? And then, like, somebody's trying to offer you that right there. You're like, nah, I don't want it. It ain't enough. It ain't enough for you. Okay? This is what you want right here. You want that overflowing love. You want that real thing. And that's why you're keeping yourself guarded and you're blocked. You're like, no, let me let me block my heart. Let me block my feelings. You know, let me block my emotions. Like, you're controlling everything and you're serious about that. You're very, you, you're very serious about it. Look, you got the... This is the two of swords right here. And you got the two of swords right here. Like, you are really guarded. You are really guarded. Like, you're not playing with this person. Okay? And like I said, this could be you or your person. So you take it have it resonates in your life, Leo. But somebody's not playing and somebody is guarded and somebody is not like accepting anything, right? Let's see. Why's the Knight of Pentacles here? Why's the Knight of Pentacles here for Leo? The Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This is what you got here. You got the moon card. You got uh, the three of wands. And you got the strength card. And like I said. Like you are guarding yourself here. I said the knight of pentacles. We went on the knight of pentacles. We was on this. But it's all the same. Okay listen. So I mean you guard it. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore you guard it. Because you like that shit was just all up in my head. It was just an illusion. Right? And you like I'm leaving the situation. You're like, I'm leaving the situation. I'm not staying here no longer. And you, and you found the strength to do it. You found the strength to leave it. Like I said, you guarded. And you didn't found the strength to get up and walk away from the situation. And like I said, and that person notices that. And that's why the reason why they're not making no movement. They're not moving forward towards you. Because for the simple fact, they know that the situation is dead. Okay? Because they know that they was playing games or they was being sneaky. Or they was being selfish. You know what I'm saying? But now, you like, psh. Okay, I'm about to focus on me. Don't even worry about it. Okay. What's my pencil too? What's my pencil? Oh shit. This is what you got. You got the um the high priestess and the five of one and the five of swords. Okay, so see, listen, that person wants to come to, towards you, but they're not making no movement. And this is the reason why they're not making no movement, because they know that you've just been sitting back quiet. Okay, you've just been sitting back quiet, and you've been letting your intuition guide you through this. Okay, you've been letting your intuition guide you through it, and they're scared to move forward, because for the simple fact, they feel like that it's going to be a whole lot of fighting, chaos, and arguing along the way. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody that hurts somebody's feelings, and they know exactly what they're doing. So... They, they're not making no movement coming towards you, Leo. Because they know that now you done stepped into this. Now you done stepped into your power, honey. Okay? You done stepped into your power. And you like, 
honey, I wish you motherfucking might. Like, you just sitting back and you letting your intuition guide you because you know that that person hurt you. This person, this is somebody that hurt somebody and they know exactly what they're doing. You're like, this person hurt me and they knew exactly what the hell they was doing whenever they did it. Right? So that's the reason why you put it into the situation. Because, like I said, that person was being sneaky. The Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Look, you made a decision. You ended the situation. That's what I'm saying. Look, the Ten of Swords is right here. You put an end to the situation. Look, you put an end to the situation. You have made a decision. You made a decision. You put an end to it because this is what you want right here. Okay? No, this ain't what you want. My bad, because these cards isn't them. That ain't what you want. You put an end to the situation and you made that decision because somebody was shortchanging you. Somebody was penny pinching you and they wasn't being fair because they was running around being sneaky. Okay? My bad, y'all. I just got these cards and shit. I thought that was the Ten of Pentacles and that's the Six of Pentacles. But it, you, you heard what it said because the cards don't lie. Somebody was penny pinching you and that's the reason why you put an end to the situation and you have made that decision. Okay. Seven. Let's see why the seven of swords is here. That's yours. Why is the seven of swords here for Leo? Seven of swords. Seven of swords. The seven of swords. Oh, see, you even got the devil card on top of the seven of swords, and the seven of swords is somebody being sneaky. Okay. Oh, see, and you got the tower too. Look, look at that. I told you somebody was penny pinching you, short and short changing you, like they was, they wasn't, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't being fair in a relationship, so you made that decision to end the situation, right? Because this person was probably, you probably felt like this person was the devil, or this person was probably doing, you know, doing the most, and you probably felt tied into this um, situation, relationship, whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's the devil card because that person was sneaky; they was giving off devilish energy, okay? I want you to see this card. See that? Yeah, you probably felt like you was tied to this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is, like, they was bringing devilish energy your way. And then this tower moment happened. And this tower moment happened and it blew up like that because for the simple fact, this is what you're supposed to do right here. You're supposed to love yourself. But that's what you're doing. So that's a good thing, Leo. That's what you're doing. You're loving yourself. Okay, but well, and that's the card of hope and faith too. So just keep hope and faith. You know what I'm saying? That something better will come your way. But as for right now, the universe is calling for you to love yourself. Okay, and that's what it is. Look, this is at the bottom of the deck. The universe is calling for you to love yourself, honey. This is a rebirth. This is let the old you go and step into and step into the new you. Okay, have this rebirth, honey. Have this rebirth because listen, you don't have time for nobody playing no games. Because that person, whoever you're dealing with, honey, they are playing games. Okay? So listen, just work on you. This is at the end of the deck, I'm telling you. The cards don't lie, honey. You got to work on you. Just make sure that you are all the way together and make sure that you are perfect, okay? Well, not perfect because nobody is perfect, but just make sure that you get yourself and your feelings in check all the way. Okay? And then, this is going to come to you, Leo, your Prince, of, your Prince of Cups. This is the Prince of Cups. This is somebody that's going to come in and offer you love, okay? But you got to make sure that you all the way together first. Okay? That's your reading, Leo. I hope it resonated with you. Listen, I need y'all to hit the like button, okay? Hit the like button. Don't just click off. Hit the like button for me. Even subscribe. So you can get notified whenever my next videos come out. I hope this resonated with you, Leo. If you want to talk about it, leave me a comment. I read them all. Okay? Have a blessed day. Thanks for stopping by my channel.